Why does the sale of the Laser Master 2 and 3 from Ortur violate existing law? Well, both devices use the code written for Garble as core element of their firmware. This can be confirmed quite easily. If the mainboard of the Laser Master 2 is connected to a PC via USB and a terminal program is started, commands can be sent to the firmware. I am using the terminal window of the Arduino IDE and after sending the command $C twice, the output that appears on the screen makes it absolutely clear that the Laser Master 2 uses Garble in version 1.1F. The same applies to the Laser Master 3. Using Garble that way is not a crime, as this software is released under a free license that allows just that. You can even make any changes to the source code if needed. In return, however, the authors demand that those changes to the source code must also be published under a free license, and it is precisely this requirement that Autor does not meet. My requests for the source code were answered with the statement that it was a business secret. I'll keep it short. No, this code cannot be declared to be a business secret. Picking up the work of others for free while ignoring the rules of the game is antisocial towards the people and not just in a people's republic. I won't quote details of the GPL license here, if you are interested, the corresponding text is anything but a business secret. In addition to the source code, Auto should also send a copy of this GPL license or a link to the text with the device. Of course, they don't do so either. Guess why? I therefore recommend not to buy Auto laser machines as long as this company does not follow the rules of the GPL license of Garble. I will publish an update as soon as the code of the Autor firmware is made open. Garble is the standard for laser devices in the mid to lower price ranges, not at least because the manufacturers can save money and effort of programming their own firmware from scratch. The uniform interface that Garble delivers also led to the rise of software such as Laser Garble or Lightburn, which enormously simplify the use of laser devices, especially for people that can't do coding. As with FDM 3D printers, the open source strategy also caused a sharp price drop of laser cutters. Similar violations of the GPL license of the open source software Marlin also exist among the manufacturers of 3D printers, but not that widespread, simply because the FDM printer community reacts more rigorous than it is currently the case with laser cutters. How can you ensure that open source also remains open in the field of laser cutters? Well, voting is mainly done by money and the black sheep also want to make profit by selling their devices, not buying these is in your very own interest in the long term. So ask the manufacturers where you can get their modified source code as demanded by the Garble license. The more requests, the clearer it becomes that the violation of open source licenses does not take place unseen. It is also possible to return such a device after purchase with a reference to the violation of the software licenses, at least if that purchase was not made directly from the manufacturer's website because they act very stupid and ignorant in this regard. As stated above, Ortur is one of those black sheep that you should contact with inquiries and avoid buying their devices until the software license violation is resolved. Writing an email to the support or sales department doesn't take much time but creates the necessary pressure on the manufacturer. Only if a garble based firmware remains open you will get and keep full control over your devices. You can read more about this on how open is this gadget. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.